Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a what I've been warming and burning video. Now, I will say my bin is empty because I have laid out all of the things that I have used up on my dining room table, and I have a lot of things since my last video. A lot of candles, a lot of wax, and we are full on holiday mode with one or two random non-holiday things, but we are going to start with Scentsy. I finished two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 24 clamshells, so since the last video. So definitely working on getting through the Scentsy, and let's just get started. Without further ado, let's get into it. With Scentsy, I only have two non-wax empties. I have a Washer Whiffs in Fall Into Love. I even got more, and I've talked about this before. I love Fall Into Love. And it's so interesting to me because I have said so many times that I am not a tree scent person. I'm not a tree person. It kind of reminds me of Lisa Roberry, how she's talking about she's not a peppermint person, yet all the new peppermint scents she's loving. I feel like that with me and tree. Like, I keep thinking I'm not a tree person, but everything that I'm enjoying has been tree-scented lately. It's so crazy. And this Fall Into Love is beautiful. It's like eucalyptus and balsam and apple. It's just stunning. It's definitely going in my club. I have a stockpile of bars. I'm actually doing laundry right now, like my towels and my robe and all of those things, bedding and Fall Into Love is the scent that I've been using for my laundry lately. It stays long on the laundry. I love it. So I finished a Washer Whiffs. I also finished an oil. This is in Matcha Chamomile. Now this is old. This was from the fall three set of oils from like two or three years ago. And I'll be honest, this had no scent. I'm using the Christmas oils from that same collection. They've just been sitting. I feel like I don't reach for my oils, but Scentsy is having a diffuser promotion right now where you buy a diffuser and you get oils for free. There's lots of different options. I will leave my Scentsy link down below, but it inspired me to pull up my diffuser and I have it in my kitchen. And every morning I fill it up with water, add some drops and really have been enjoying it. Right now I have like a Christmas cookies in there and it's really nice. It's definitely not as strong as wax, but you instantly get the fragrance and it's a nice subtle background fragrance. So I'm working on that Christmas oil three pack now and have been really enjoying it, but I just didn't get anything from that one. All right, let's talk about the bedroom fragrances first. So I just used one clam in my bedroom. I Bedroom or office, I use one. If it's two clams, I use it in my dining room, living room, kitchen, kitchen area. The first one we have is breakfast and bed. I'm going to be honest. It's just not for me anymore. And I know that's crazy. Breakfast and bed is such an iconic scentsy scent. People love breakfast and bed. It's like a warm pumpkin filled pastry with like a blackberry jam, which sounds delicious. I don't get the performance like I did. And I swear this one's like from a flash sale. And I swear, even though it's not around, I still accumulate bars. Whether it's in a flash sale, a mystery bundle, like I got another one in a mystery bundle. I didn't film that video. It was the two warmer mystery bundle and a mystery wax bundle. All the wax are scents I've already had and don't love, and the warmers are warmers I already have. So not super fun on that. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Breakfast in bed is not for me. It's not in my club. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to start mixing the other ones that I have. I used to love it, but I don't know. It's just not for me. What I am loving, listen, this is in my bedroom. I swear when I put a new scent in my bedroom, my life changes. And I just get so happy when I put fresh wax in my bedroom. And this has been going for two days. Cashmere and corduroy. I know, not a new fragrance, but let me tell you. Beautiful. This is sweet, warm, comfy, cozy. I actually completely washed my bedding, you know, made the bed, like really took the time, not just like threw the covers over, like really made the bed nice, deep clean, mopped everything. And then I popped this in 
and it just felt so great. It's been kind of sunny throughout the weeks here, so I've been, not the windows open, but just the blinds open, the curtains, and just having like the bright room, this fragrance going in the winter, it was comfy, it was cozy, it was relaxing. I love cashmere and corduroy, and I could totally see myself reaching for this all the time. I actually did an order of some pods and some exciting things that I want to film for you. I have a couple trips coming up, and I wanted to get a tabletop fan diffuser to travel with instead of wax, so it's less mess and less, like, fragility. And uh, my friend wanted a three-pack of bars, so I just made it a six-pack, and I got cashmere and corduroy, another one, for myself. I actually got cashmere and corduroy and this. Wow. Sleigh ride. You want to talk about a difference from cold to warm? This is amazing. This, what is it? Is it, it's cherry, isn't it? No, it's apple. Listen, I, I don't remember the notes off the top of my head, but this is beautiful. This is a quintessential holiday scent. I was over at my friend's house the other day and she has this, she has it in her Scentsy Club. And when I walked in the door, I'm like, that's sleigh ride. And she goes, it is. I'm like, it's so good. Like the second I walked into her house, I knew she was melting this. It smelled like my bedroom. It's beautiful. This transforms. It's the right amount of balsam and tree. It has like the icy snow in the air. It has the fruitiness. This is just beautiful. And I actually got this in the pods that I'm going to bring when I go to New York in January. I'm going for almost a week. So I'm going to bring this to set my hotel room to really just like capture the whole moment. And I cannot wait because I really like Sleigh Ride. And I also ordered another bar of it. So really, really like that. Let's continue with the things that I am loving. Cranberry candy cane. Now, I've never seen this before. When I popped out the wax, this like stayed there. I don't know if it like got melted or what. My store my bar is in a cool, dark place. So I'm not sure. This is so good. This smells like old school Yankee Candle Cranberry Candy Cane. Or was it called Cranberry Peppermint? Something like that. This smells just like it. So it's very nostalgic to me. Like old school Yankee Candle. But this is beautiful. It is tart, ripe, juicy cranberries and peppermint. That's it. It is so good. People either love it or hate it. And to be honest, I love it. It's definitely going in my club. I want to stock up on these bars throughout the year so I have them for the holiday season because this is incredible. It's beautiful. It's strong and it lasts for days. Now this, I have a couple bars left. I adore this fragrance. Just not getting the performance from it. Hemingway. This is like a warm, comforting, masculine apple fall fragrance. It's going in my office now, an entire bar, and I can barely smell it. And it really makes me sad because the scent is so great. I love the scent. I love how comforting it is, how warm, how the apple blends with the spices. It's so good. I just don't get performance. When I had two bars of this, I did it in my dining room, living room, kitchen. Barely got a throw. This barely got a throw. I'm going to try one more time. And if I don't get performance, it's getting taken out of my club, which makes me sad because I love the fragrance. Speaking of loving, caramel buttercream. Not as good as candy cane buttercream. Candy cane buttercream was definitely my favorite from the Sensorations, and that is currently in the catalog. But this is really good. This is a gooey, sweet, vanilla caramel buttercream. Like a really rich, you go to a really decadent bakery and they have caramel buttercream cu cupcakes. This, it's so good. I love. So super, super enjoyed this one. Definitely would repurchase it if I could. It's not available anymore, but I did well in the bed bedroom. And speaking of well in the bedroom, rum pum plum. This is incredible. This is so good. This is what sweet plum pastry should be because it's that really rich, decadent plum with that really rich, bakery, fl fluffy, buttery pastry. It's beautiful. It performed so well in my bedroom for a few days. Really enjoyed it. Really happy. 
I still do love sweet plum pastry. Do not get me wrong. I actually might melt that coming up pretty soon because I just love sweet plum pastry. But this is definitely great. And I don't have sweet plum pastry in my club. So this is going in my club. Definitely. All right. Now let's move on to... Let's move on to the scents in my dining room, living room, kitchen area. So I have gone through two bars. We'll start from least favorites to favorites. These are actually a toss up. The Sensperations this year, Christmas Cottage Wreath. I finished two clams of this. I am not a fan of the Christmas Cottage collection this year, you guys. Although I have not melted Christmas Cottage cider, but I do have the scent circle that came with the pack in my car, and I'm really pleasantly surprised, one, by the performance, and two, by the scent. I have not melted the bars yet, but I think I actually have this going now, and I'm loving it, but I think this is on day three. I think I might change it out to the Christmas Cottage Cider to see how that performs tomorrow. I'm off, so I can have the whole day to enjoy it, but I, the Christmas Cottage wreath is just not it. It's like too much spice and not enough anything else. So I don't know. I don't enjoy it. Just like I do not enjoy Christmas Cottage Mint. They also didn't perform that well for me either. They weren't really strong, which makes me sad. Ugh. Mm -mm. I don't like this. There's, it's just like not, how do I say it? This didn't need to exist. Like, there's so many amazing fragrances. Like, why didn't we get a very snowy spruce sensation? You know what I mean? Like, it's just a really odd scent to add to. Because Christmas Cottage is like Valencia oranges, red currant. Again, I, I don't remember the notes. But again, it's just an odd scent. And added mint to it, it just was not it for me. I don't know. Not a fan. Next, from the Scents of the Season collection this year, Frosted White Pine. This was just okay. I was off when I did this, and I was in and out of the house between the gym and errands. I was constantly in and out of the house, so I was constantly getting whiffs of it. And it was just nice. It was fresh. It was icy. You definitely get that like more icy coolness out of this one, more than any other pine fragrance. But it's nothing like to write home about. So there's other tree fragrances that I enjoy more that would go in my club. So I'm happy I tried it, but it's not one I would need to repurchase. Next, I've never melted this before. Maple Apple Bourbon. And I did two bars of this. I think of Elizabeth from Elizabeth Scenes and Scents every time I smell this because she loves this. And this was nice. This was very much a background scent. It was very much a, oh, it just smells really warm and cozy in here. It's not like, oh, it smells like maple apple bourbon. You know what I mean? It just smelled really comfy, really cozy, and I enjoyed it. It was really pleasant. I would repurchase this. It's not a club bar for me. I enjoy it, though. Next from, this is a few bring back my bars ago, Woodland Suede. This is a bar. These were getting pretty juicy. But, oh my gosh, let me tell you, the juiciness made this. This is so good. This has that suede note, but it also has a little bit of that earthiness from the green, but the suede note definitely sets it apart from the crowd. This is in my club, and it is going to stay there. It performed really well in my open concept. It was a nice neutral fragrance. I think men would enjoy this. I think women would enjoy this. This is one that I feel like is really neutral. It's not overpowering, but it's different enough that when you walk into someone's house, you're like, oh, they have something going. It's not just like, oh, your house smells good. It smells like you have something going. And I really, really enjoyed that. Next. Wow. I think you already know by this incredible Tiffany blue color what this one is. Mint to be merry. Oh, this is like peppermint sugar cookie from Bath and Body Works, and I love. If you like candy canes and you like sugar cookies, Mint to be Merry, you've got to get. This is December, November's scent of the month. It's crisp. It's fresh. It's, oh, it's so good. It cleans the air, but still gives you that bakery scent. I think if you have company coming over, this is a great one to melt. I think if you... 
have little kids coming. They would really like this because it's fun with the sugar cookie. It's so great. It performed well. This is definitely going in my club. I don't know anybody who doesn't like this scent. So Mint to be Merry is great. And then what I have going now, I have three Nest Holiday candles burning all throughout the house and sugar plum berry going. This is incredible. Oh, this is so good. This is going in my club. This smells like Nest Holiday. I'm literally burning a Nest Holiday candle right now. Um, they don't perform the best, the Nest, the Nest candles. They don't. But let me tell you, they smell incredible. And having the warmers going and having this going, it's Nest Holiday perfection. This one is like tree, sugar plums, blackberry. I forget what berry is in here, but anyway, either way, it's fabulous. It's phenomenal. I love it. It's going in my club. And then my favorite thing I melted this week, I didn't realize I still had some bars of this. These are old. These are flat bottoms. So there's no, and if you don't know what I mean by that, it's the only flat bottoms like I have left except Buzzworthy. Do you see how the back has all the different images of the scent categories? Well, that's new. These guys are super old. There's no scent categories. That's what they used to look like. This is not in my club. I regret it every day. This is in my Bring Back My Bar wish list. Walnut Raisin Muffin. It sounds so interesting because I feel like nobody's really come up with a scent that's a Walnut Raisin Muffin. This is so good. You get those golden raisins. Not, I don't think they are what... There's golden raisins and are they brown raisins? There's like the traditional raisins and then those golden raisins, which are a little bit more juicy and fruity. It's golden raisin, warm walnut, and that really rich bakery muffin. This is so good. I love, definitely would repurchase. It's always strong, always performs well for me. I love walnut raisin muffin. So if you were here for the Scentsy, thank you so much. Now let's move on to the candles. The first candle I have is from Bath and Body Works and this is Frozen Lake. Now, as you see, this is from last year. It has the like luminary effect and the notes are lavender leaves, cool eucalyptus and juniper berries. I love Frozen Lake. It didn't burn too, too bad. I burned this entire candle in my office and it just gives a really fresh crisp and coolness to the air. If you smell Frozen Lake, you know what I mean. The juniper adds like a warm, crisp berry. The eucalyptus and the lavender just makes it bright and fresh. The throw is consistent from top to bottom with this one. I really do enjoy Frozen Lake. Next, I have Winter. This is from last year, I believe, or the year before. Maybe the year before, because this is only $24.50. And the notes read, White Woods, Pine Needles, Sparkling Clementine, and Spice Clove. Yeah, this is an older, an older one. And then I also have a single wick from this year, the signature single wick. And if you look in the jar here, they both were not the best burns. This is the signature single wick a lot of residue on that. And then this one, I actually stuck it in the candle lamp and dumped a lot of it because the performance was just not there for this one right off the bat. Literally the first burn started to fizzle out. So I just popped it in the lamp. I love the scent of winter. Winter is really iconic with Bath and Body Works because you have the clementine, the pine, the clove, the outdoorsiness of the winter woods. It's just really pretty, really strong. And I was burning this in my living room and this in my kitchen. And these two really filled up that open space well, having like the single wick and the three wick together. I love winter. It's always a repurchase. Definitely a classic for the winter time. Next, this is pretty random. I have a strawberry pound cake. This is from the Hispanic Heritage Month Perfumer Collection. And this is Fresh Picked Strawberry Golden Shortcake and Whipped Cream. This had a pretty okay burn, and then it got halfway and got puny wicks, but the scent stayed the same. I love strawberry pound cake. If you like strawberry whipped cream cake, that's pretty much it. A really light vanilla strawberry cake. So always a classic there. 
I burned Evergreen. This is from a few years ago for sure. This is those really cute luminary jars. So we have the polar bear and the little, is it a little, a little mouse. And then we have the snowflakes all around that glisten and glowed. And the notes read white fir needles, fresh cedar wood, and sweet sap. They did not bring Evergreen back this year. This is a little bit too tree for me. So I was burning this one when I was decorating and the one three wick was enough to give like an essence of tree in the air and not overwhelming. It's okay. I don't like it. The sharpness of the evergreen is a little too much. I'm actually burning from Kringle right now, Orum and Evergreen. Oh, and by the way, you're probably like, wait, I thought you were burning Nest Holiday. I actually filmed part one with the wax last night, and this is the next morning. So, and I'm, I really liked that one. This hot mess. Pineapple, mango, and fresh balsam from the Blends collection from Candle Day last year or two years ago. Again, I can't remember. Woodland balsam, fir branches, fresh pineapple juice, and mango. Such an odd combo. I think it was just, I bought all of the candles, so I was like, just have to buy it. No, my mentality is a lot different now. I didn't care for this. I don't love fresh balsam to begin with, and pineapple mango blended with fresh balsam is just bizarre. I finished a single wick in Vanilla Bean Noel. This is the mason jar, and this is vanilla bean, fresh vanilla bean, marshmallow fluff, and vanilla cake. Pretty classic, but I did not get any throw from this at all. This was purely an ambiance candle, so finished that one. From 1820 Company, which is my friend's candle company in Ohio, I was burning an heirloom pumpkin in my bedroom. I love. This is a creamy, sweet pumpkin with just the essence of like cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg to give it a really warm spice. Love it. It's a beautiful ambiance candle as well as a fragrance candle. Next, I finished. This one is from Matt Matthews. Eat, eat drink, and F off. This is his cinnamon roll candle. Love. These little guys actually burn really clean all the way down. That's just the soy wax from the wick at the end. Beautiful, rich cinnamon sugar bakery with that sweet icing. Really, really enjoyed that. And then I finished Don't Hate Me Cause You Ain't Me ginger cookie and a three wick. I mean, these burn so well all the way down. 100% soy and strong. And this ginger cookie is great. It has a real bright ginger, definitely different than the Scentsy Frosted Ginger Cookie that's coming out in January. Really great performance. I finished from Capri Blue Alpine Juniper. This is definitely pretty old, and it didn't burn too, too bad. I burned it in a hurricane the whole time, so pretty clean jar. I'm not going to save it. It's like missing glitter already, but... I didn't really get any throw from that. That was an ambiance candle. And then I finished two from Diptyque. This is from the Christmas collection last year. Incenseless. It's incense. It's like an incense and coffee candle. Came with a gold lid. Absolutely love. This one candle filled up my entire living room, dining room, and kitchen. Perfection. I will clean the jar out on this one and reuse the jar because I love their jars. This is such a great scent, like a woodsy burning incense with a little hint of that roasted coffee. Really pretty. And then I finished Queer, which is leather, burned all the way down. Love. This is a real fresh leather, so you're not going to get like an earthy, deep, dark, warm leather. This is fresh leather. I would repurchase this. I love. It was super strong the whole way down. So good, so fresh. And then I finished this guy in my bathroom, Liquid Amber. It's one of the mini candles from 1820 Company. Burned this in my bathroom for ambiance, and it was nice. It didn't provide much throw, but look at how teensy it is. I mean, compared to, like, the regular candle, it's definitely a vast difference. So it was more like an ambiance candle. As far as, like, I would say beauty, but this isn't really a beauty item. I have the Volcano from Capri Blue dish soap that I have. Actually really enjoyed this. The dish soap formula was, it was more thin. I prefer the Scentsy dish soap, but it did perform well. It did scent really nicely. And then I have this from Beekman 1802, Brown Sugar Pumpkin Goat Milk Hand and Body Soap. I love Beekman. I love the scents. This is just a really, really awful formula of hand soap. I don't know what makes it 
like what ingredient makes it that way. For one, the pump itself, if you don't use the soap like for a day, like you're gone or you're not using the kitchen sink, I don't know. You pump it and it like shoots across the room. Like it's like the soap builds up if you're not careful with it. I'm not sure why. And the formula itself, Bath and Body Works has nailed the hand soap game for like an everyday hand soap. Oh, there's some luxury hand soaps I love, like Aesop. Diptyque makes a great hand soap, but that's not for every day or unless you're very fancy. But the Beekman one, it just doesn't really glide on the hands well. The scents are great. You feel good afterwards, but it's like not a real seamless hand washing experience. I know that sounds a little like, well, he's picky about hand wash, but it just doesn't work. It gives me the same formulation as like Mrs. Meyer's hand soap, where it's so gelatinous that there's not enough like glycerin to really give you a smooth hand wash experience. I'm not sure. I, I don't know if everybody has that experience, but I'm just not the biggest fan. So that was my empties, about a half an hour spent with me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know, did you finish anything exciting this month? Let me know down below. As always, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. I'm getting to melt some Scentsy, bring back my bars this week so I can let you know in my next empties what I'm thinking. But make it a better world and be kind. I love you guys so much. Bye.